1957, and what a year it was. They invented Velcro. Lou Hode won Wimbledon back then, and Australia's population was a bit over 9 million, which incredibly has doubled since the time that you have been on air. Congratulations on a fantastic career. You've done it with style, and of course you've done it with integrity. Uh, we're going to miss you, mate, so goodbye and congratulations. Thanks, Ken. But uh, there's just one more thing. As we all know how much you love your music, here are some old classics as we go back to where it all began. Good evening. Rebel postal workers wish their fellow Australians a Merry Christmas today by ignoring. The year 1957. In come the dollars, in come the cents, to replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence. Something is terribly wrong. I hope he gets back, you know, safe. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The curfew, one night only. This battalion has gone through three commanders in six months. Vietnamese reinforcements are continuing to move north towards the Lang Son area, where a major battle may have already started. They're very good, Roger, the whole lot, but I've just got a feeling that perhaps the viewers might object to me wearing a beard. Hmm? Hello. Hello. What do you know? What do I know? I know who said what and why and how. I can tell you everything you need to know right now. How oh, well, do you know all that? Everything I need to know, cause Brian told me so. Well, what do you know? Continue to oppose Australians playing cricket against South African teams because of apartheid. Apartheid, I mean. I'm Brian Henderson. This is News Centre 9. The CIA and America's other intelligence services look like being under even closer scrutiny. God save the Queen, because nothing will save the Governor-General. On the 18th of January at Granville, a crowded express train from the Blue Mountains crashed in the most horrifying of circumstances. 82 people lost their lives, 83 were injured. I know a Martian could have come and got her. I just yelled. I, uh, there wasn't time to go and tell people. I just yelled out, has anyone got a torch? The thing goes, got my baby. News on nine is different and it's better. Structure is not due to start until 1985. Three decades of dedication set you apart from all the others. Style that is unique. Color, depth, flair. Bold, compassionate. You're one of a kind. It was their worst single tragedy in the brief history of space exploration. My controller is here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. From love and charity. Australia Day, 1988. The celebration of our nation's first 200 years. China's deadly assault on the student protesters.
When it comes to news, the man Sydney turns to is Brian Henderson. Hey, want to swap jobs? <laughs> We're in the dark, but I'll continue. Animal experts are up in arms over plans to send some of our wildlife overseas. The state government has offered to lend... To we'll put another shilling in the meter and then come back. Oh, that's handy, thanks. I've got to say, hello, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Someone pinched our spare bowl. The trip of Sydney. Where does Dawn Quell? Juan Antonio Samaranch described as the best ever. Saddam has sickened the world. The tragedy in Threadbow. Two bodies have been found during what is a very slow and very frustrating operation. ever witnessed. The British public has ensured that the Queen Mother was given a proper send-off. It was a calculated, ruthless and murderous attack on the heart of America. Tall and there by our man slam since i announced my retirement six weeks ago the flood of cards and letters has been quite overwhelming they've been warm and friendly mostly nostalgic occasionally funny and sometimes very moving seems as though i've had more personal mail in these few weeks than in the preceding 46 years it's a wonderful compliment but replying will take quite some time so please be patient it's also a great compliment and privilege to have been constantly invited into your living room. So, the time has come. Time to say goodbye to the routine of the last several decades. Working to the clock, the mateship of the newsroom and those around it, the adrenaline flow, the unavoidable stress, the great satisfaction of signing off on a well-made bulletin. Time for me to move to the sidelines and sit with fingers crossed, hoping for things like the end of the drought and a return to some sort of world stability. Time to watch the news instead of presenting it. You all know the man who's taking my place. Jim Whaley is one of the most respected newsmen in the business, and I'm sure you'll support him as you've supported me. I, I feel I know you after all these years. I know I'll miss you. Miss sitting here Monday to Friday, 6 to 6.30, telling you the news of the day. However, if you happen to see me around, and you feel like it, Give me a smile or a wave. Maybe say hi. I'd like that. How to sign off? Well, not the way it was, as has been suggested, but for the last time, the way it is. This Friday, the 29th of November, this is Brian Henderson, a sad Brian Henderson, saying not good night this time, but goodbye. shown me thank you for the love of my life so far anyway now it's really really over oh god i really thank you 